Hello everyone, welcome to the Economic Week Ahead brought to you by Business Day. My name is Enyola Olatunji and with me is my colleague Wasil Ali. So it's a very interesting week for Nigeria. Today, Nigeria is auctioning two different bonds. One is a dollar denominated bond and the other is a local FGN bond. Yeah. Now the dollar bond is the first of its kind. In fact, when I when I read the news, I was I was very elated. Oh, so we'll, we'll be having a dollar denominated bond. bond. That's not so, an euro bond. Yes. So this one is is domestic. Is for it's a great news. Yes, actually. it's great news because great news. there will be inflow of dollars. Mm -hmm. There, um, a lot of people will be able to partake, and even all of these dollars that are sitting down in dormant, like in domiciliary so, so accounts, they will be put to good, to good I, use. I think um, um, while you're doing the minister of the coordinating minister of the economy mm -hmm. said um, this um, bond dollar denominated bond. Mm -hmm. It's not just an ordinary financial instrument. Mm -hmm. It's going to catalyze economic growth, development, yeah. and the economy is it. So it's going to be put into the external reserve. So the bond is is dated for five years, and its coupon will be paid twice a year. It is also edged against the euro bond, and um, at the auction today, the yield on it will be revealed. But what's more interesting is that the minimum um, fee to participate in the dollar bond is $10,000. And subsequently, you could participate with as low as $1,000. Yeah, and so that is very, very low because compared to euro bond, for euro bond, mm -hmm. the minimum amount is usually $200,000. So they've really brought it down to a very retail price where a lot of investors, investors. can... Mm -hmm. Many people see... In fact, analysts have projected that it will be oversubscribed wow. because, I mean, it's just five, it's just 500 million that they are issuing this first tranche. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if you're allowing people to do as little as $10,000, uh, everyone is going, a lot of people will jump on, will jump on it. it. Yeah. Also today, the DMO, the Debt Management Office, will be issuing a $190 okay. billion FGN bond. Now, it's across three tranches which they are which are going to be reopened across five year, seven year and a nine year tranche. So we have seventy billion for the five and seven year tranche and fifty billion for the nine year tranche. So this is actually a very, very low amount for you compared to any mm. auction this year. And a lot of analysts have said this is because the federal government is really slowing down on its debts. Okay. I mean so we already have and a, debt, a, a high debt stock. Yeah, we already have very high debt stock. I think we're already at 53% mm. debt to GDP ratio currently mm, and yeah. compared to like 23% at the beginning of the year. So it is why we're seeing the debt management and the federal government issuing very low amounts in the FGN bond auction. So, well, away from GMO <laughs> and, and bonds. Because yeah. <laughs> it seems like that's what will be, be happening this week. But yeah, no, yeah, yeah. we have more, more for you. This week, yeah. this week uh, the National Bureau of Statistics will be releasing um, the fuel and diesel price, price. watch. Now, you, you realize that there's a lot of um, full scarcity today, especially. See, um, there's traffic fuel use. If traffic induced um well, fuel induced, fuel induced traffic. traffic. Yeah, so as in the scarcity and of course um, it brings to bear the the um, continuous um, scarcity in the, in that space. So the, the National Bureau of Statistics will be releasing the average retail price of PMS premium motor spirit today. Uh, last month the PMS at the average price was sold for some fifty naira. Wow. You know, but but for but now I don't think it'll be seven fifty again because we are buying fuel. I bought fuel yesterday for a thousand naira. At I would pay nine hundred. At the feeling still on just at the pump price. Yeah, pump price. Wow. So, so, so but we are going to see what the report for July will point out. Will point out. And for diesel, diesel was sold for about one thousand four hundred and fifty-two naira wow. last month. So. Well, we are hoping that Dangote Refinery will uh, begin to, you know, distribute the, the, the diesel, fuel, I mean, diesel um, fuel oh. to marketers. And of course, with all of this, uh, analysts are projecting that the, the the price of the prices of petrol and diesel will crash. Well, like we saw earlier this year, price of diesel crashed to about nine hundred naira. Yes, it was yeah. nine hundred one thousand earlier this yeah. year. Now it's about one thousand four fifty. There about now. So away from diesel and petrol, also 
National Bureau of Statistics will be releasing the selected, selected food, food prices price. watch. And you will realize that last week, major headlines on, on the news were inflation drops. We saw slow. inflation slow for the first time in 19 months. That's the last time, in, yes, it's about two years. The last time inflation slowed was December 2022. And it's quite remarkable. It is. It's it very is. remarkable. Mm -hmm. say, but, but we are just hoping that the moderation will just continue. We were, over the weekend, I spoke to some analysts and they said uh, inflation will continue to moderate, um, buoyed on the um, IBS effect, effect. And the imports, the duty yes, free. Yes, the duty free. Also, last week, also, the you know, president um, signed off the duty free, um, zero duty on, on importation food, of on, foods on like wheat, yeah. sorghum, millet, and millet. And that would sure. really, really, because some of these, um, some of these, grains add almost 30 percent um duty tax on them yeah. so imagine them going from 30 to zero yeah so it's so going to do something food inflation when food de decelerated because you know there was uh, i mean inflation rather decelerated mm. because there was low food inflation sure. because we are hope we're hoping that food inflation will continue to decline so that we put an end to this um yeah and the selected cost of living crisis yeah you know, selected food price should also reflect maybe a um some deceleration in those yes, prices because prices even a business items, day um analysis. analysis research also show that some some key staples like tomato Pepe, prices nah, as begin to reduce but, but i will tell you Anola, um, i was <laughs> at the market over the weekend things are still relatively high so we ex we be expecting all of these reports and you should check our website for them okay. but to the naira mm -hmm. now <laughs> the naira fluctuated last week it ended you know on thursday it's um it's been getting wednesday so i think from the beginning of last week and then it ended on a negative note because it fell against the 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 dollar i'm at 1,579 now 1,579 and that's that is even something to look out for today. What the Naira is going to yeah um, today. Yes, what the Naira is going to be at today is because the analysts have even said that the the bond auction, the dollar denominated bond auction happening today, mm. will likely put pressure on the Naira because investors might be looking to change their Naira for mm. dollars yeah, so as true. to participate in, in the auction. auction. Yeah, so we'll be looking out for price of naira, um, the naira today and i hope we will actually it will actually see a bit of decline because there will be a lot of demand and you know once demand that. is higher than supply it will have pressure it will have more pressure on the naira naira is already pressured <laughs> pressured <laughs> naira but honestly it has it has maintained the one five yeah that's one that's six range. range for a while for a while now yeah and we're actually in a season where there's so much demand of Seasonal demand, seasonal demand of the Naira. So maybe in months to come, we should see some adjustment back, some appreciation back in the Naira. All right. And this, that would be it okay, for this be. week. Let's just hope that Naira sees some sort of rebound. Yeah. As we say. For more analysis on our stories, you can visit our website at www.businessday.ng and follow us on all our social media platforms at businessday.ng. My name still remains Wasil Ali. And I am Eniola Olatunji. For more in-depth analysis, please read up on our website at www.businessday.ng.